part today will be hand-on step-to-step of how to deploy an Angular project from Bitbucket to AWS EC2 Windows Server 2016. In this video, we'll be complete a simple CI-CD process using Bitbucket Pipeline and AWS Code Deploy AWS F3 to deploy your Angular application to your desired EC2 instance. Without further ado, let's start it. First, we need to create a IAM role which makes sure your EC2 instance and code deploy group and the IAM user has proper rules to complete this process. So make sure the rules has include full access to EC2 and S3 and also code deploy in this scenario. After creating the role, we need to configure the role trust relationship to make sure it includes EC2 service and code deploy service. So now since the rule is completed, we need to create a IAM user for our Bitbucket to access to our AWS services. In here, we are simply just granting the role permission we just created and to make sure download or keep the secret key and secret ID for later use. Now we need to create a uh, EC2 instance. In here we will be using Windows Server 2016 base with T2 medium size because we have to install code deploy agent as Windows service to make sure the code deploy is working later. So we need a larger instance than small or micro to make sure it has enough memory to run the agent. Here is the code that we can put into the creation configuration. So the instance will automatically install the code deploy agent while creating the instance. Now we have our EC2 instance up and running. We need to check if the code deploy agent is running properly inside our instance. So let's connect to the instance and open the PowerShell. Here's the command to check if the agent is running or not. If you see the state is running, then it means the agent is running properly. If you see the state other than running, please restart the server or make sure it is running the latest version. Here we're going to create a code deploy applications and group. It is pretty much straightforward for creating an application. Just make sure to select EC2 on-premise as compute platform. Now hit the create deploy group button, enter the deploy group name as you desire. Remember to make sure putting the correct service role that we created and choose in place deploy option. Since we are going to deploy to AWS EC2 instance, so we have to select EC2 instance in this environment configuration and put the correct tagging into the section to identify the EC2 instance. Last but not least, make sure uncheck the enable load balancing. We don't need it in this demo. Hit create deploy group. So we now we only need a F3 bucket. To create a S3 bucket is really easy and straightforward. Just make sure the region is set as same as the EC2 instance. In my scenario, I use Southeast Sydney region since I live in Australia. Okay, cool. We have done everything in AWS console. Let's move to Bitbucket. Log in to your Bitbucket and start creating a new repository. After you have done creating, let's move to the setting. Scroll down to Pipeline Session. Click Setting Menu and enable the pipelines. And in the same section, click Repository Variables. In here, we are going to set up all the variables for the pipeline. You don't want to expose your environment variable to everyone who are working on the project, right? In here, you just need to make sure you have everything correctly set up. After we have done the variable setup, here we go as the simplest part. Since you are watching this video, I assume you have already known everything about Angular. So we just quickly creating a fresh new Angular project and commit to the new repository we just created. After we have our Angular application ready, now we need to add some files which is required for Bitbucket and code deploy to run as commands. Firstly, we need to create a before install bat. This script will be ran before code deploy to copy your file into the EC2 instance. 
In this scenario, I will just simply asking the EC2 instance to install Windows Web Server to host our application. Secondly, we need to add an aspect YAML file to tell the code deploy agent where the file should go and the life cycle of the whole deployment. So in here, we simply put everything into a C drive, INET public and WW rule. And before then, run the before install script. Thirdly, now we need to compress our deploy bundle as a zip file as it is required for this process. So now we are going to create a script to compress bundle and app spec and before install script into the same zip file. Here we are using archiver to do the job. Make sure you install the archiver in from the npm package. And here are the codes that are used for compress the file into one file. Okay, the archive script is done. We can simply check if the code is running properly by calling this script file. After everything is set up correctly in here, we just simply commit and push the change to the Bitbucket. Here we come the last part. Let's head back to Bitbucket and click pipeline and select JavaScript as the pipeline language. In Bitbucket, they have offered many of preview examples of how to write the pipeline. In here, we are using the AWS code deploy example, but with a little change. First, in the pipeline, we need to make sure the MPN is installed the latest version since I have running into issue with just simply call MPN install. And then we install Angular CLI and MPN install all the necessary MPN package for building our Angular application. After all the packages are installed, now we can build our Angular application by calling ng-build-prod. After building our deploy bundle, we now call the archive script to compress our files into zip file. Once we have the zip file ready under the root of application folder, we are going to implement the first pipeline to upload your zip file into the S3 bucket. In here, we we'll simply follow the code example provided from Bitbucket and to make sure the variable are spelling correctly. After the first pipeline, we are implementing the second pipeline to deploy the application from the S3 to the EC2 instance. Just simply follow the code example and make sure that variables are correct. Okay, we are now everything ready. So now we just need to commit this YAML file and we will see there is a pipeline running up already since we have something commit to the master to trigger this pipeline. Once received the success deploy message from the console, we can also double check this job from the AWS console as well. Just by clicking into the code deploy application we create, find the correct group and click inside, we will see the job is successfully done. Now we just need to copy the public DNS address from the EC2 instance. But first, we need to make sure the TCP is open to work. Now we should be able to see our Angular application is up and running. Thanks for watching this video. This video is made for my own education purpose, but I hope it helps you to understand a little bit of Bitbucket pipeline and code deploy. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time.